Hi there Pisces, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Pisces. So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Pisces, please? The past energy for Pisces. The past energy for Pisces. 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 Okay, one more. Pisces. All right. So, the past energy for Pisces, please. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The Page of Wands in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. And the present energy, it's the Knight of Cups. That card so wanted to come out. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. But like the Nine of Swords. The future energy for Pisces. The Emperor. The Page of Cups in reverse. What's going on here? Oh boy, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, and the overall energy for the reading. You could be dealing with an Aries. Doesn't necessarily have to be. The world. So I see an end to a cycle, but there could be a distance between you and this person. So the world could even be talking about like endings and new beginnings, right? So when I clarify, I'll gain more insight. You could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. But uh, it seems like someone was weighing their options in the past, trying to figure out what to do, like, uh, on, like how to take action. So the Page of Wands is showing up in reverse with the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I see this person in, in, in a process of thinking, weighing their options, okay? Possibly trying to figure out what to do. Seems like they do have romantic feelings towards you with the Knight of Cups, but I don't see them making an offer with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse because someone could be up in their headspace with the Nine of Swords. There could have been fears or just a lot of overthinking. Someone could have been, could have been feeling anxious as well, okay? So you could be dealing with this emperor, but yet I don't see them expressing themselves, but at the same time, it's making them quite unhappy with the nine of cups in reverse. So let me clarify the world before I say anything. The world for Pisces, please. The world. Yeah, this is someone that's like having to make this choice, but feeling anxious <laughs> with the nine of swords. And it could very well be regarding taking action and expressing how they feel. And if they're not expressing how they feel, they seem like they're quite unhappy with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So clarifying the world. Clarifying the world. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. There's someone that's disappointed, like they're thinking about you. Okay, the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. The Wheel. The Wheel talks about like a fated encounter. I see someone thinking about you, reflecting on this connection with the Eight of Pentacles. But yet, uh, they seem disappointed, okay, with the Four of Cups. The King of Swords is trying to be logical and practical. Could seem kind of cold, right? Distant. But I, I see them wanting things to take a turn for the positive. Okay, so they may seem like they're detached, but I don't see that as being the case. So they are disappointed with the Four of Cups. You could also be disappointed. Um, but let me clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse for the past. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. It's like the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. This could have been a friendship doesn't necessarily have to be but I see someone wanting to work things out though but yet yeah like wanting to communicate how they feel with the page of swords but being confused at the same time so 
So let me clarify the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, like the Nine of Wands in reverse. Ooh, I do see a disconnect with the Hierophant card in reverse. This is someone that had to overcome fears, okay, or um, get out of their headspace. Because I see them wanting to be open with the Nine of Wands in reverse, like wanting to take down any sort of walls or barriers. So let me clarify the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, like wanting to express how they feel with the King of Cups in reverse. This person could have seemed like they were distant or like cold, but I don't see that as being the case. Like this is someone that had to get out of their headspace in order to express how they feel with the King of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. There could have been like issues with expression. Okay, like even though they did have romantic feelings towards you with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, like the Seven of Cups in reverse. Like this is someone that had clarity regarding their feelings. And they saw you as someone that's very charming, attractive, charismatic. Okay, as the Queen of Wands. Definitely had romantic feelings towards you. And there you go, the King of Pentacles. So there was that potential for stability. But let me clarify the Knight of Pentacles. This person had clarity regarding their feelings towards you. But yet at the same time, things were not made right or balanced out with justice in reverse. So maybe this was you trying to look at things from various perspectives, trying to gain insight. You could have been very patient with this person. So I see them kind of wanting to um, balance things out, though. I see you being very patient, though, with temperance. So if there was like a disconnect between you and this person. But I see this as you being very patient. Let me clarify the Nine of Swords. Before I say anything else, there you go, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this person did not make an offer. And you could have pulled your energy back. Because there was confusion with judgment in reverse. Yeah, like the lovers in reverse. Look at that. Yeah, definitely a disconnect. I see you being very patient with this person. But then the Queen of Pentacles is showing up in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I see this person as not really making things right or balancing things out. Um, even though you try to remain patient with temperance. So let me clarify the Emperor. The Eight of Wands in reverse. This person is not communicating. But it's like the Magician. With Death. So the world talks about like an ending or like an end to a cycle. If this person is not communicating or expressing how they feel, it's like um, things have to change within this dynamic with, with the magician and death. Something has to transform with the, within this connection. And if there was an ending, this person is not happy, okay? And there you go, just as I said at the sun in reverse. I feel like if this person is not expressing how they feel or communicating... Um, there is dissatisfaction. There you go. The Queen of Cups in reverse. There is a lack of emotional vulnerability, okay, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Like someone having issues with being emotionally vulnerable. So this person really wants to take action though, but it's like there has to be communication. This person is not making an offer with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. There we go, the Seven of Swords. With the world in reverse. This person's not being quite honest about how they feel. There is a... Like, I feel like you've tried to remain patient with this person. And there is disappointment. This person wants things to take a turn for the positive, but they're having to take action and really um, be emotionally expressive or vulnerable. Because with that, this situation, this is someone that's not communicating in an honest and effective manner. 
So maybe this could even be you like walking away if you don't see like changes, right? With the devil, I not with the devil, with death and the seven of swords. So let me get further insight. from the intimate tarot for Pisces, please. Pisces. Pisces. Okay. Yeah, like the world. This is someone that thinks quite highly of you, but like there could even be a distance between you and this person or just there has to be an end to a cycle because there's pain like someone having to take action with the knight of swords towards this wish fulfillment and happiness with the ten of cups right but someone's up in their headspace about things worried anxious they are thinking about you so the six of swords is like moving forward away from conflict okay Letting go of any conflict, changes. The Four of Pentacles. So this connection is very near and dear to their heart. But again, there has to be expression. Someone is holding on though. Again, the Eight of Wands. So there has to be communication. Okay, or like a f honest communication, effective communication. So let me get messages from the Oracle deck for... Um, that's too many cards. Let me try that again. For Pisces, please. Pisces. Pisces. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'll take that. And this. Okay. So... This is card number 50. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So this is like, both people have to be committed. There has to be a firm foundation. So it's card number 50, which is five. So changes. And you could be a very, look again, another card with the number five, really talking about changes. So um, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness. To those around you so you could be a very patient very kind person okay and uh, card number three back to what you love reevaluate your desires so what do you desire in this connection right and um do you really see stability here or like there, it, se it just seems like there are, has to be changes within this dynamic okay so let me um get Inside from the Romance Angel deck for Pisces, please. Pisces. Okay. Oops. Try that again. Pisces. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive because you, you can be a very kind person, very patient, right? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday. So there is that potential. Okay. But again, this is someone that's having to be truthful, honest. It has to be on both sides. Okay. And uh, in order for there to be positive changes, an end to disappointment, okay? So that's my reading for you, Pisces, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.